What's up guys, Twig46 here with the next episode of Silent Hunter 4. Now, uh, last time we left off, um, we sunk this uh, little uh, guy, the big one, I believe it was. Oh, where'd he go? Uh, sense. We'll go ahead and send that. New message received. Yes, we sunk, we sunk a big one back there. Okay, so... Sorry, I just uh, record these every other day, and sometimes it's hard for me, for me to remember what <laughs> the heck happened last time. Anyway, so uh, just uh, continuing our patrol, and we got some uh, flash message, uh, something. So we need to go to received. <clears throat> okay, here it is, Solomon Islands area. Now that is down here. Um, obviously these. Uh, uh, there will be there early November 8th, we're on November 7th, and that is at least a 1,000 mile trip, so therefore, that is something that we just can't deal with. So it's like, I mean, hello. This, however, is something that we can deal with, so lucky days, lucky days, we're going to go a little bit southwesty. And we're going to uh, try to intercept this guy. <clears throat> Alright, so right into it this time. No faffing about. Get a line for you. Gonna cruise in. I feel relatively comfortable taking a rough 90 off of you, so you're fine. And I think we're going to be pretty dang close here. We need a course of 216. Well, that's 210. So let's be right about here. 214. Yeah, we're pretty much right on it already. Alright, so it says he's going medium, so we should be well and clear. Check the uh, check the conditions of the seas. Single contact. Bearing. Three, five, seven. Long range. Seas look wonderful. Nice and rough. Alright, so let's get a little bit closer here. Yeah, we're definitely going to win. Win the race. Okay, now we go ahead and slow down. And finally come to a stop. And we also need to tell how far he is away from us. So we can uh, dive at the appropriate moment. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead one third underwater. Just to make sure we're close enough. But yeah, I mean we don't we don't even worry about that until about the five. Okay. So going extremely, extremely slow. Almost stopped. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go north. What the heck just happened? He switched courses. Alright, so basically what I'm doing is I'm exposing my radar. There it goes, it's active. So we can uh, tell exactly what he's doing. Hopefully, we have enough time to uh, turn this boat around. more. Right about, oh geez, really? More? Hang on. Yeah, it wants a little more. Okay. Well, we'll give it a little more. There, that should be pretty good. Maybe a little less. Okay. See, so, yeah, we just have barely the, the radar sticking up, so, yeah, we should be totally fine here. Um, so we're going to need a 90 off of this. So we can make sure we're going to hit our mark when the time comes. 
So a 90 would for us be five. But then it says six degrees up there, which is just odd. Anyway, how far are we off from him? And how far is he away? Okay, so that should be good enough. So I suppose we can go under now. And we can watch that, because it is kind of cool to see the, the boat submerge, you know? There. That way he won't see me at all. There's no way. Yep, radar is completely off. We are submerged. That is some serious dedication, guys. But, uh, sadly, it's not going to win you any medals. Alright, so Sonar should be able to spot this guy. Really? Engine sounds that are so loud in my ears. Two. Three. Okay, good enough. Eight knots. There we go. Now the engine speeds down. So, okay, so we got a speed of 8 knots. Let's see if we can ID this guy. Well, I can see water. It looks like another one of them small ones, but we'll see. Anyway. We can uh, begin our torpedoes here. Again, forgot to reload. That's generally not a good idea. Okay, so there's that. Standard depth. Speed we said was 8. Good. Angle on bow. It's about there. Range. I don't think I can. No, oh, I can. Yeah, that should do. All right. Fire more like a 350. Changes that. That's better. Alright, cool. So we're firing at 350. Check our torpedo situation. Plenty. And, uh, gonna save off for doing after tax for a while, just because you never know that if a situation happens. Alright, so we're gonna fire at. Uh, Jeez, what were we gonna fire at? Yeah, 350. Ugh. Okay, let's uh, accelerate time till that happens. Got a ways to go, obviously. It's another one of these damn small ones. Getting sick of these guys. Oops. Just gotta get him to closer to 340. Then we'll take a final range check and then plug that in and then we'll be ready to fire.
14, 15. So I don't know what's up with the engines, but they're quite loud. Alrighty, here we go. <coughs> Ordinance is on its way. Uh, let's go track it. Hey there. Three, five, two. I don't care, Sonar. Alright, so torpedoes are quite shallow this time. I've basically memorized the, uh, the depth for this guy. It's super shallow. He's just as shallow as you can make it. Because what happens is sometimes they're loaded with cargo, sometimes they're not. So if you put them, like, assuming that they're loaded with cargo, I've actually missed a few people. Uh, a few ships doing that, so. Oh, he's going a lot faster than I thought. Oh, that second one's gonna miss for sure. Luckily, I don't think it's gonna matter. That's some crap right there. Bye, torpedo. Alright, so. Let's see. The thing is, is that it took out. Like, whoa, you can see the entirety of his ship. I think he's dead. I think he's going to sink, but it's going to take a little while for it to happen. But I'm pretty sure this guy is dead. Just with the one. Yeah. 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 I mean, you know, when your ship is underwater that much, you know, it's like, you know you're dead. I was kind of cool to see like the inside of the ship, like how it's how it's modeled, how it's rendered. Kind of see all the little compartments. But yep, I ripped that guy a new one. So let's go ahead and uh, reload, just so we have. Jeez, we are expending so many torpedoes, and we haven't even gotten to our patrol zone yet. This is not looking good. It's not like we're doing all that much either in terms of tonnage. That sucks. I mean, but like, here's the thing: is I'm right next to a port. I got like two of them, so I can just re reload and refuel. So you know. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty confident. Yeah, I know it missed. I'm pretty confident that this ship is in fact dead. You know, so I'm not really too worried about it. Although he might not be. Oh no way! He's gonna he's just gonna sit there. All right, let's see. Yeah, I think he's just gonna sit there. Okay, that's cool. Um, all we gotta do is service the boat. Yes, this will be fun. Alright, so let's uh, reveal to him our location. Here we are. We are here. Ta da! Are you happy to see me? Because I'm not happy to see you. Obviously, some of the boat is still well underwater. Um, it takes a little while to completely surface, but hopefully, hopefully we're good enough to man man the deck gun. All we need to do is probably shoot like five shells into him. He'll go down. All right. Just gotta find the range here. Problem is, it's a little bit rough, so you see how the scope moves up and down a little bit with the waves. So if you shoot when the scope is... Ooh, nice shot. You shoot when the scope is aiming down, you'll totally, you know, dunk it into the water, like, right next to the submarine, so that's not good. Just kind of got to time your shots a little bit. 
It's like I'm not going to shoot right now. But now it's good. Wonderful. Just want to get this guy out of commission as soon as possible. So he can't radio his friends for help. Alright, here we go. Another good hit. Gotta wait. Wait for the opportune moment. Honestly surprised this guy is still staying alive right now. I'm gonna reload the shell and then I'm gonna go over there and uh, see what's going on with his... Uh, with his hull, because quite honestly this guy should be pretty dead right now. Yeah, see, I mean, I blew some really good holes in him, so I don't know why he's still alive. Oh, well. We'll shoot a couple more, just for the who of it. Alright, gotta watch for the scope. Yeah. There's a good one. I'll reload the shell, and then again ins inspect, um... I want to save as much ammo as I can, because when we get to the big ships, that's that's when you really want this. Oh, wrong buttons. So you actually use the arrow keys. I think that was still the same three holes. But yeah, it's weird, because you use the arrow keys and then the shift to make it go faster, and then you use home and end to make it go the camera go up and down. You don't have to use the WSAD. It's very strange. Okay. Why don't you just die? Let's try aiming a little bit more on the front of the ship. See if that does anything. If that put a hole in them, that'd be really useful. Come on. Hopefully this last shot will do it. Oh, he's on fire. I guess that's something. Gonna again reload the shell and then wait. Go on the camera. Yeah, dude, the, why is this guy not dying? These are some of the strongest ships I've ever seen. It's kind of ridiculous. Alright, let's uh, shoot that one. Let's load HE. Maybe that'll sink him faster or something. On fire in multiple locations. He should have exploded by now. Maybe he's not armed with anything. There you go. Ooh, got a stack. Haha. <laughs> There we go. Hey, now he's dead. See? Just need to persuade him a little bit. Alright, well, let's get back to what we need to do. Which is going to our patrol zone, because we still haven't got there. But yes, now he's it's official. Alright, turn to course. Good. You're dead. Goodbye. See you later. Now, 
We could just, you know what, you know what, I'm kind of done with this coastal thing. I want to get some big ships. Yeah, I can live with that. Alright, let's get some big ships happening. I'm tired of shooting out these little, little dinkers. Annoying. Oh, see? There's his friend that he called. Deploying from Walai, I guess. I think that's where he came from. I'm not exactly sure. Doesn't matter. He's not going to see nothing. You think he's going to see something. We're just going to stay under for like a couple hours. Until it's night time. CO2 is not even an issue. Fuel, batteries, fine. See, I will stay under till like 11. You're not going to see anything. Alright, away we go. Flash traffic. Uh, in Jesu runs to Adu. Um, I believe Adu is way the heck. Yeah, here it is. Adu, Kiska. I'm not even close to that, so that's obviously something I'm going to ignore. I got three little ships and one big ship. Hopefully going down this way will yield higher results. But let's see. So we got a little patrol zone set up in our circle. Obviously it's a 200, so oop, 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 here's a ship. So hopefully we'll catch them right in here, but we are in our patrol zone. I'm waiting to catch him right around here, maybe. Maybe he changed course. Ah. Oh, it's a plane. Crap. Well, get under. Okay, check the conditions of the sea. Always. Usually just, I usually dive to 165. They usually can't see me if I'm that low. part where we just wait for a few minutes then surface and we're good get the radar working again and just hang out in the patrol zone see what we can see but we're finally here we finally made it to our destination I'm glad cuz I don't sick and tired of those little dirkers dirker dirkers ooh see yep lots of ships in Pel Peleliu Ferry, one, nine, plane yes, sir. plane one, definitely six, a plane one. Whoa, jeez, okay. <laughs> Stay under. We should be fine now. He was coming towards us, so, you know, the speed and the distance, it cancels each other out twice as fast as if they were going, you know, the same direction. Okay, cool. So we got, uh... New message received. We did our patrol. Um, 100 nautical miles is the new patrol zone. Ooh, yes, please. Yes, please. Hehehe. <laughs> You'll see why I want to be here in a second. I'm going to go right up to it. Alright, so that's, that's a useless patrol zone. Alright, so I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to start detecting a whole, whole heaping bunch of ships. I guarantee you. Destroyers, um, all kinds of stuff. So let's uh, set up a little patrol zones there, and we'll teleport. Well, not really, but, you know, time accelerate. It's the wonders of time acceleration. Very fast. Get yes. the heck under. It's like 11 o'clock at night. Seas are dark. As, as long as we can get the boat under, we should be totally safe. And no bombs dropped, so 15 minutes later we'll surface and... Oh. Dang it, I suppose not. Alright, whatever. Just, you know, let's wait another 15 minutes. They're just sending out planes. He's pr probably the last patrol of the night heading back to base. But, you know, we got all night to advance. And now it's daytime. So we gotta be a little bit more careful, but, you know, that's what the radar is for. 
That's why I love radar. It makes my life so much easier. Okay, so we're coming up into our patrol zone, so I'm going to obviously decelerate time, because this is where lots of bad things will happen. It is uh, too, too fast. Too fast on the uh, time acceleration. Alright, so all I gotta do is blow up some ships around here, so. <laughs> yeah. Alright, moving in. Oops. See? You see? You see why I love this place? Two small convoys. And that's a group of two. That's a group of three. Nice. Uh, we'll probably complete our mission by killing this one. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. Um, obviously we need a, a better line. To take a 90 off of. But we're going to worry about that later. For now, we're just going to get close. Uncomfortably close. Alright, we really ought to be diving now. Alright, we got him on, uh... Got him on a screen. Stop the boat, probably. We want to be far enough away. Because we're going to do a, a double attack. We got our torpedoes completely loaded. So we're going to basically, after this, have no reserves. And now we got him. Right, so we need some speed, speed checks here. Luckily, they're basically the same, but that might be bad for me, but we'll see. Um, we'll see how fast they're going. Um, I think I can count the number of times I've done a, a double attack like this on both my uh, fingers there. It's less than, less than 10 times I've had this opportunity. And there is that convoy to the south that has uh, three of them. So I'm looking forward to killing it. But we have to deal with this guy first. I wonder if we can uh, at least hear them on the hydrophones. I doubt it, but you know, there's... Always a possibility, right? See, they're going really slow. They're like seven knots. Let's take a listen. So they were south of us, so if we can hear them, that would be... Ooh, we can. Lovely. I'm gonna take a slight risk yes, here. Sir. New depth. Three, five. Yes, sir. Go to the radar station. Obviously, gotta wait for the uh, ship to surface sufficiently. There we go. All right. So let's see if we can see the other convoy on radar. Because if we can, it'll be super easy to track them. The other guy should be somewhere there. There they are. The other guy should be somewhere over here. There they are. Single contact. Bearing. Two. Zero. Three. Long range. Yes, sir. New depth. Six. Zero. Yes, sir. Awesome. Alright, so what's our range? Bearing. Seven. That should be good enough. And the best part is, it's during the day, so you guys get to see. Yeah, there they are. Oh, well, this is awesome. Okay, so we need to know. Yeah, they're super far away. So we're probably going to be able to see them when they're about here. So that's that's when I'm going to when I'm going to take another speed check.
Alright, so we're gonna do another speed check now. Yes! Indeed it is. Okay, so let's see here. I do I gotta do kind of a lot of things simultaneously, so hopefully this this works out. I don't know, we'll see. It should. We should be totally fine. We have tons of time. They'll be at like at 60. We're going to probably fire like at 0. And uh, 10 or 15. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, they're not moving that quickly. Tag the lead guy. So. Zero. Closing. Yeah, they're still going like 6.5. More like six and a half. All right, cool. So what we need is an ID, and we need a course. <clears throat> All right, so it looks like a smaller one and then a big one. But what we can get from this is an exact course, and we can take a 90 from it. And we also get a range, which is very nice. Oops. Actually, that's, that's, that is the right tool. <laughs> I thought I wanted the eraser. Okay, so we have an exact course. Don't need the periscope. You do need a little bit of forward momentum. We do need well, a little bit of a turn here, but not nothing crazy. Alright, so we need 325. 325. No, it has to be precise. Yes, sir. New course. Three, two, six. God, you guys. Okay, so here's the fun part. This is why it, it's hard. So we know that they're going about here. So they're about there. And we know the guy... The guy in the back is our is our concern, because he's the bigger one. So let's set up our torpedoes on... We'll use three and four for him. He's going to be the, ha the fast torpedoes. Okay, so he's going to be firing at 10. What if I fired at 15? That's still really good. Okay, so we're going to fire at him 15. Okay, so what we need to know is how many degrees of separation is between these guys. Ship spotted! All right, so if he's at roughly 53, he'll be at roughly 56. So if I'm firing at 15, I should be able to fire at 5, or maybe 0. Let's try 0 and see what that does. But he's going to be on low speed. So th this guy is going to be on low speed. So let's try firing at five, which is more like here. That's acceptable. I'll, I'll live with that. All right, here we go. Now we just need the IDs. I don't know what the first one is. Ship spotted. They're just so far away. We need a range. Five. We're shooting at more like 3,000. All right. Um. Okay, we need to recalculate. Because this is not 
not see that change. So it's not a decocaine attack. So this is the range. It's actually very important here. Oh, hold up. Uh, that's uh, slow torpedoes. Still good enough. Still good enough. All right, that's that's the solution. So let's set it up and let it be so. <coughs> All right, so I'm gonna quick save here because this is kind of this is nerve wracking for me. So we want to shoot when he's at five, huh? Well, obviously, if they're tracking him, I'll look when he's at uh, 30. Because if there's a separation, if they're tracking the back one, then, you know, we should be okay. Alright, so let's look. No, they're tracking the front one. Alright, we know what that guy is. I think I know what this guy is. He's one of these. Bearing three zero. Fifteen. So we should be okay with the standard depth on both of these guys. Oh, actually, since the periscope's up, so if he's at thirty. He's at a little bit. Okay, so that'll work. That'll work perfectly. We're just gonna want to definitely slow way the heck down to to maintain maintain the distance as much as as much as possible. So we're shooting at five, but again, we have to take take range. Range is super important in this engagement. So we've lost uh, sound contact with the other. Oh wait. Huh. It only sounds like one ship. Well, anyway, we need to uh, start paying attention to this engagement. The scope up. Alright. Let's wait a little bit more. So we'll check again when he's at 15, which is about now. So if he's if he's at roughly there, see the the separation is becoming more of a thing, which is why you want to stay as far back as you possibly can. So if we fire, it still should be fine, but it just means it just means the the range is even more important. So we'll plug it in for uh, 29, which is slightly what we don't have. Should be on the 3,000. 28. There. Okay. Just do a quick visual double check. Yeah, they should not be able to see that. But we have our torpedo tubes open and they are ready to fire. 
so whenever he crosses on that line, they should not be able to see my scope. Again, I don't really care about this ship as much as I do the other one, but I'd like to get them both in one go. That would be good. But the the real thing here is the the range and the the placement of the torpedoes because it is daytime, I believe. Yeah, they probably going to see these um before, you know, they're not going to aim hit exactly. So I'm going to shoot these a little earlier than I normally would because this guy is going to see him or see them a lot sooner cuz they're going slower, right? So that'll give him some time to maneuver, to speed up, to turn. So I'm going to shoot these a lot or earlier. So we're going to put one here. And here. Alright, so that leaves this guy to set him up on a 15. And the, the range, again, is extremely important. Remember we're talking about maybe more of a 3,000 range. So let's up that a little bit. And there we go. Oops. That's, there we go. Now we're correct. What if I f well, if I fire it at 20, you know, it's too late. So we're just going to hope that this works. hope that it's correct. Again, we're going to place these a little bit in front of where we would normally. Assuming that as he sees them, he's going to accelerate. But we obviously want to... <coughs> and probably right about there. Alright. So we're going to use the uh, torpedo targeting map for this one because it's so it's uh, a lot more complicated than just a typical, oh, let's just follow the torpedo. So I mean, we got two here, two here. I suppose I could get the periscope up enough to see them. So we have a, have a visual. So the first two are moving. They're probably going to miss because of the, the range, and he saw them, but torpedo impact, torpedo missed. Okay, so what's this guy looks like he's speeding up, so there, yep. So let's see if they'll hit. They barely miss. Damn. Fuck. I knew that I knew that was gonna happen too. That's the thing. I should have aimed them way ahead. So now we have to uh decide what we want to do with this guy. Cause we hit this guy. We spent a lot of torpedoes doing it too. I have no reserves. And we don't have very much to show for it. And I knew that was going to happen. I should have aimed them, like, ahead of them. Damn it. Of course, I, I could always reload this. But I kind of don't want to, but I kind of do. I'm 50-50 on it. That's okay. Um, I won't because there's that other convoy. So we're going to go to... Uh, yes, sir. Torpedo miss, sir. Thank you. Drop that. We don't need it. We're going to raise to radar depth and see see if we can't uh, find that guy. Yeah. Where's that other convoy? I don't... Single? Yep. That's where we're at. There's a single contact, but back here there should have been a convoy. I'll try again. Where'd they go? Are they out of radar range? I hope not. Merchant, bearing, three, four, five, moving away. 
think they're out of radar range. Well, what we can do yes, sir. Ahead is go south Ahead like that. Because, yeah, they know I'm not really interested in keeping up this little attack. I want to find that other convoy. Let's see what we look like right now. Probably get a little little lower in the water and still be okay. Just so you know, we're not like totally exposing Merchant. ourselves. We want Barry. the radar exposed. Eight. Six. Yes, away. New depth. Four. Three. Yes, sir. I'm not even really interested Barry. in shooting at because, like, the thing is, is that that guy has a deck gun, Moving so like away. that's that's my attack. I screwed it up pretty hard. Merchant. Barry. I should have I should have known because, like, look at look how calm Six. the seas are. Moving Alright, so that's totally my fault. Ooh, small convoy. Okay. Well, let's try again with this guy. Just don't want to see what's what's going on. Because this is the guy I hit. Oh, he's... He's out of vengeance. So he's dead in the water. I really don't want to waste another torpedo for this guy. It's just it's just not worth it. I mean it's just not. He might sink, but then again he might not. It's been a long time since you know, and like the range is doable, but I just don't want to waste the torpedo. They are picking him up on the sound now, instead of the radar, which is unusual. Because the radar should be active. Yeah, radar's active. Can watch him as he uh, changes position. Don't need to sound so excited! I know it missed! Yeah, there's the other two guys, but I'm interested in this guy. Should be moving slightly away from them. Cause this guy's dead in the water. He's not moving anywhere. So what I can do wow I'm killing my battery, but gas is down to 52, which is not ideal. Um, well, we need a kill, so. There he is. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Yes, sir. Bolt stop. Yes, sir. We're gonna do some estimations here. Gonna use a back torpedo. And we're going to do a proper ID because I know what he is. He's that guy. Range will be that much. We just need a speed and an angle on bow. And we can check that with the uh, torpedo tracker system. I mean, it's the, just the cheating way to do it, but you know, whatever. All right, so we'll set the for there. We can. Uh, Change the angle on bow slightly. That'll put the torpedo pretty much in the middle. What if we change it a little more? Let's 
See us moving it forward just a teeny tiny bit. Alright. So this is what we do. Still moving. Um, we, another thing we can do is this. That alters the guide. So there it goes. Torpedo in the water. In the meantime... In the meantime, we're moving on. Uh, we gotta get out of here. Alright, so let's watch this torpedo do its job. Obviously, it's not going to follow the green line because the torpedo is uh, computer is set. So as I'm moving, it's changing. So this torpedo is following a line that no longer exists. But as long as it's not a dud, it should completely hit and completely obliterate this guy as long as he doesn't move too quickly. Which I don't think he is. It missed. Torpedo miss, sir. That really ticks me off. This is like one of the least lucky patrols I've had. Yes, sir. Hold stop. Yes, sir. Wait. Should not be that hard to find him. Yeah, there he is. So he's barely moving, so that was enough. I knew I should have led that more. Gosh. That was the torpedo exploding on the water. Yeah, I'm totally done with this guy. Range is really far. 5,000. I've never... <sighs> I'm just going to cut my losses and move on to, to this. Yes, sir. It's ridiculous. Fine. That's fine. I get round two. Hopefully this one will go better because I, I know my mistakes. Come on, contacts. Come on. There. Single contact. Very seven four. Long range. We're definitely gonna have to dock. Definitely. Wow, this line needs to. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Yes, sir. New depth. One, six, five. You know what that is? That's an enemy plane. <laughs> Let's get the heck under. Because they're going to be able to see that. No problem. Current depth. Six, zero. So, under we go. Current depth. Eight, zero. Hopefully, you don't see me. Zero, zero. Especially in these calm seas. Current depth one two zero. Battery's still fully charged. Current depth one four zero. Passing thermal layer. Current depth one six zero. Seas are unusually murky, but yeah, I mean we're like we're under. Well, we could probably go under more if we wanted yes, to. Yes, sir. New depth two nine seven. Yes, sir. Dive planes, do your stuff. That guy's still there. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, I don't want to die, so. Yeah, see, I'm looking exactly where the submarine is, and I I know exactly where to look. I can bear I can see it. It's right here. Barely. 
Maybe you guys can't. I can barely see it. Our crush depth is here, by the way. But, um, yeah. We should be fine under here. Um, the thing is, is we st we're close enough. We have the hydrophone. We can... Or the sonar. We can listen to these guys. No problem. But we can see them, but they can't see us. Perfect. Ooh. Yeah, that would be the guys up here. That's cool. We had our shot. We're going to get our shot at these guys. Unfortunately, that's going to happen in the next episode. So until then, guys, run silent, run deep.